remember the sponsor that we had a few weeks ago? Yes, that awesome sponsor that helps you get rid of in-game lag. No ping, to be more specific. If you watched the review that I did a few weeks ago, you know how much I enjoyed this service. But if you didn't watch it, don't you worry, my friend. I'll brief you on it in a second. Basically, one of those two sides contains the gameplay ran by using no ping. The other side is just plain old normal gameplay. See if you can guess which one is which. Now if you guess that the left side is actually the no ping gameplay, you are absolutely correct. And the fact that you managed to notice that even though I don't suffer from high ping tells you a lot about this program. Because imagine how much of a difference it would make for you if you actually suffer from ping issues. Well, no ping came back and asked me to do an in-depth tutorial showing you how to get the program up and running. I'm gonna start up a timer and see how long it takes me to get no ping up and running for Albion Online, for example. So let's just start the timer and see how long it takes for me to get this program up and running. First thing that you need to do, go into your browser, search for no ping. It's gonna open up this page right here. Now, click on the free trial option. Cause yes, Noping gives you a seven day free trial in which you can test the services with no risk. Cause register your email and password and stuff like that over here and you are gonna get access to it, no problem. So basically, if this service seems interesting, and let me tell you, it is, and you just wanna try it with no strings attached, just try it. You have seven days to do that for completely Free. But I do have an account. If you don't have an account, just sign up over there or over here. Just try it out. Well, after you've done that, you are going to be taken to this page right here. Now is the perfect time to start focusing on this button right here. You want to click it, wait for it to install. After it's done installing, run it. Allow it to run as administrator. Wait for it to start the setup. Uh, it's going to install itself in a specific folder. So you are not going to be able to direct it in, let's say, the f drive or d drive or whatever drives you have it's going to automatically choose a pathway and trust me it's better that it doesn't take up a lot of space so don't worry about it so far we are two minutes and 25 seconds in not bad i'd say not bad with all the explaining that we've done in the background i feel like that's not bad at all now after you've done that this icon will appear on your desktop just click it, allow it to run as administrator, just as you did before. Wait for it to do its server magic. The first time you run it, this is going to take a little bit longer, but don't worry. Like, you see how long it takes. I'm not going to cut this part just so you see exactly that it doesn't actually take a lot of time. But usually, it's even quicker than that. Let it, let it think about it. All right. And it's going to take you to this page right here. Now, my information is already... Uh, filled in right here but yours is not gonna be just fill in your information your email and your password make sure to tick this box because you don't want to have to fill that in all the time click login again wait for this to do its server magic by the way a tip that i have for you uh now they don't specifically say this but usually services like this work much better that way make sure you are connected to ethernet so like an internet cable not to wi-fi if you cannot do that, don't worry, it works with Wi-Fi as well. But usually programs like this work much better if you have an internet cable. Try it out. And uh, guys, I don't know what to say, but that is it. It took us 4 minutes and 7 seconds to get up to this very point right here where we can actually start using no ping. But how do you use it? Well, one of the first things that you need to do is go into the settings. In the settings, you want to click this option, boost FPS. This is going to increase your FPS in a game and you want that. Like I know for a fact you want that because you're watching this video right now. So make sure you click this. Now, if you forget to click this or maybe you didn't know about this, don't worry. It's still going to increase your FPS, but this boosts it even further. Then you want to activate this, Turbo Games. What this basically does, it improves your reaction time somewhat. Maybe I'm not explaining it the right way, but let me just say it like this. I am playing Albion Online. And everybody that plays Albion Online knows one thing. Whenever you press a key, it doesn't always trigger that key. So let's say I have an ability on my Q. And I press my Q. I know for a fact that I pressed my Q. But my character didn't do the ability that it's supposed to do. So I need to press it again. So basically I need to have the first reaction to activate the queue, like the need to activate the queue. 
then I need to observe that the Q didn't activate and have the second reaction and reactivate the Q. That's a lot of reaction. That's, that, imagine how long that will take. What this does, from my experience, it's kind of like clicking your keys twice. So let's say I press my Q only once. Even though I just pressed it once, no ping seems to press it two to three times. Something like that. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't always happen like that. Like, I don't know exactly how it works, because whenever I'm typing in chat, let's say, in a game chat, I don't press my keys twice. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I, the, the keys don't press twice. But whenever I'm in combat or whenever I'm using certain abilities or stuff like that, it seems to work like that sometimes. I, the point is, I don't know exactly how it works. I just know that this improves my reaction time so much, especially in games where you're experiencing ping issues. So make sure to take this on. And if you want to streamline the process even further, make sure to also click this so no ping will start running at your startup. After you've done that, close this box and just look for the game that you want to play. For example, let's say I want to play Albion online. Select the game now. Let me explain a little bit of what's happening. This is the servers provided by the game. Albion Online, for example, has only one server. Whereas a game like Guild Wars 2, for example, has multiple servers. Basically, what you need to do right now is choose the server if the game offers you multiple options that's closest to you. So for me, that would be the Europe server. Open this window and then choose the option that gives you the lowest ping. Let's say this one. But again, in Albion Online, there's only one server. But do the same thing. Just choose the option that gives you the least latency. Press it. Optimize this game. Wait for a second. That's it. That, that's all you need to do. From this point onward, just open up the game. I know it seems impossible, but I've tested it. That's all you need to do. Open up the game and just have fun with it. Now, I'm not going to be able to open up the game because Albion Online is in daily maintenance right now. But I'm just saying, this is all you need to do. That's it. <laughs> Would I recommend no ping? Brothers, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Absolutely. This service doesn't make the biggest difference for me because I'm not really experiencing lag issues. Like my normal ping is around, in Albion Online, 125. People that are not playing Albion Online are freaking out right now. No, that, that's the lowest ping you can get in Albion Online. People play with 300 ping this game. I'm just saying it's not that scary. Because it. I live in Europe. This is a game that's based in North America. Of course, I'm going to experience latency. But this does make a difference. This does make a difference. And if you actually want to see that difference yourself, well, check it out over here. And don't forget, if you decide to use their service, first of all, you can try it for free. And second of all, if you end up buying it, make sure to use our code at checkout. You're going to get a discount. We're going to get a commission. That's not going to affect the price that you're paying in any way except in giving you a discount and no ping is gonna have more customers so hey everybody wins this video was made possible by our amazing channel members if you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself you are gonna get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams member only polls and lots of other awesome perks shout out to all of you awesome badasses thank you so much for supporting us